Lost teeth. Yeah. I only have my one fruit front tooth now. Experiments with acids. And you, the viewers, made real popular requests that we should try using... Bro, it has two, 25... Okay. 1.5 million. Piranha solution. Neil and I never used Piranha solution. Didn't even know what it was. But we've made it and the results have been fantastic. All sorts of exciting things, including a magnificent experiment with Neil's banana. Piranha solution Tracy. is a mixture, not a very precise mixture, of hydrogen peroxide solution and concentrated sulfuric acid. It's really important not to have an excess of hydrogen peroxide at any time or the solution can be potentially explosive. So you have a volume of sulfuric acid and you add about a quarter of that volume of hydrogen peroxide solution. These experiments are potentially very dangerous and you must definitely not try them yourselves. You should watch our video instead. When you mix the solutions, they get very hot and you start seeing bubbling, almost certainly due to some of the hydrogen peroxide decomposing to oxygen and water. We began quite modestly. Neil tried a flower which disappeared pretty quickly. He then tried a hey, foursome. very... Did I already miss the no links warning? Yes. Well, here's another link for you anyways. Don't feel obligated to play it or anything like that. Cheers, happy Friday. Cheers. H. Tree. Amusingly, neither Brady nor Neil knew what sort of tree it was. And surprisingly, this berry obviously was being attacked but nothing very exciting happened. Those are, I don't know what they're called in English, Rundberg, I think. But then they tried a couple not, of not so good for humans. small sweets, and they were amazing. The reactions have what is called an induction period. That means nothing seems to happen and then whoosh, everything takes off so if you see these two sweets swimming around in the solution and then suddenly the reaction starts and the reaction generates heat so it goes faster and it goes faster and faster And the first stage appears to be the concentrated sulfuric acid removing the elements of water, H2O, from the sugar in the sweet and generating very finely divided carbon, which is black. So the solution goes a sort of blackish brown color. Now what's really interesting about the piranha solution is that it can oxidize the carbon to CO2. So that the black solution gradually goes lighter and lighter, pale yellow, and eventually colorless. So you have something that is really surprising for chemists. Amogus potion. Where you have solids that just disappear when you put them into solution like they've been eaten by piranhas. Yes, except with piranhas, you see fat fish. Of course, chemists always like to scale up their reactions. So Neil took a whole handful of Skittles. 
lots of different colors. Handful. And the first part of the reaction <laughs> went rip -ness, rather rip -ness, violently. Rip -ness. Uh, no fucking... Who? Oh, is he the guy? Soon as dead? I forgot what it was called. You can see with the thermal image, it generates a lot of heat. And they're hot gases flowing out of the top of the beaker. Alright. Moderately interesting. Ish. All event, thank you man. Okay, go with the tier 2, 10 months. GFMB for some puke. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment on what you want to see next.